Marvel's Hall H panel at San Diego Comic-Con was last night, and with it, the full Phase 4 slate, along with some announcements on those movies. So here I am, covering all of the updates for you. Make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell, like the video, and without any further ado, Marvel's Hall H. The panel opened with a recap of the first three phases, and... It was dubbed at the end with the Infinity Saga, which we already knew, but we got, like, an official logo for the Infinity Saga, which is kind of cool. First up, the Eternals was confirmed with a logo and a release date of November 6, 2020. Chloe Zao was confirmed to direct the movie. The movie's plot has been described as a mortal alien sent to Earth by the Celestials to protect Earth from the Deviants. The main cast was also confirmed, and I'll probably butcher some names here, but Richard Madden, Kumai Nanjiani, Lauren Ridloff, Brian Tyree Henry, Salma Hayek, La McCoo, Don Lee, and Angelina Jolie. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier Disney Plus TV show was confirmed to release in fall of 2020. They revealed a short teaser to the audience in Hall H. It had Daniel Brühl reprising his role as Baron Zemo, and the trailer reportedly ended with... Zemo putting on the Zemo mask. Next up was Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, which was confirmed to release on February 12th of 2021. Directed by Destin Daniel Cretton, Simu Liu, Aquafina, and Tony Leung. Tony Leung is playing the Mandarin, who is confirmed to be the real Mandarin in this movie. WandaVision was confirmed for Disney Plus in spring of 2021. Of course, Paul Bettany and Elizabeth Olsen will be returning, along with Tiona Paris, who will play an older Monica Rambeau. The series will take place after the events of Endgame. The Loki TV show will also premiere on Disney Plus in spring of 2021, of course with Tom Hiddleston. It's confirmed to be a direct result of the scene in Endgame in 2020 or in 2012, when Loki takes a Tesseract and vanishes. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness will come out May 7th, 2021. Benedict Cumberbatch is, of course, returning. Scott Derrickson is returning to direct. Elizabeth Olsen is going to play Scarlet Witch, and the series will tie into WandaVision. It's also described as being the first scary Marvel movie. However, it will still be rated PG-13. The animated Disney Plus show titled Marvel Studios What If is the first animated series in the MCU. It will premiere on Disney Plus in summer of 2021. Jeffrey Wright will be voicing The Watcher, and many actors from the MCU will return to play the voice actors for their characters. Hawkeye was the last confirmed series for Disney Plus. It'll come out in fall 2021. Jeremy Renner's, of course, back. It will also introduce Kate Bishop. She has not been casted yet. Thor Love and Thunder, November 5th, 2021. Taika Waititi is, of course, directing. Chris Hemsworth, Tessa Thompson will return. Natalie Portman will also be reprising her role as Jane Foster, who will end up picking up the hammer, supposedly, and becoming female Thor. Last movie with a confirmed release date of May 1st, 2020 is, of course, Black Widow. The movie will explore her past. Scarlett Johansson is, of course, returning. David Harbour will play a character called Alexi. Ironically, Florence Pugh will play a character called Yelena, who has been described to be somewhat of a sister figure for Natasha. O.T. O.T. Fagbany and Rachel Ways. There was a small trailer shown which depicted Natasha going to Budapest after the events of Civil War, fighting Yelena and fighting Taskmaster. Last officially announced movie was Blade. Marsha Hala Ali is confirmed to play Blade, and that's all we know. Kevin Feige also mentioned that they hadn't even had time to talk about Black Panther 2, Captain Marvel 2, Guardians 3, Fantastic Four, and Mutants. Those movies will likely be revealed at D23 in August. It was also confirmed that Endgame officially passes Avatar as number one highest grossing movie. Anyway, that's all that was confirmed slash announced at Marvel's Hall H panel at San Diego Comic-Con 2019. Let me know your thoughts on these in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, like, ring the notification bell, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.